Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial. Before I start, I'd like to share some important tips. Make sure to check the quality settings on a YouTube player and set it to 720 or higher. Also, expand the player to full screen. This will ensure a clear view of the code and actions demonstrated in the video. Today, I will show you how to embed Dashboard's Angular Viewer into your application. Open your ID. I will be using Visual Studio. Click the Create New Project button. Choose ASP.NET Core Web App Item and click Next. Change the project name, project location and solution name and click Next. Select the framework version and set it, for example, to NET6. Uncheck the Configure for HTTPS parameter. Click the Create button. First, double-click the project name and add TypeScript properties. Open the program CS file and define the user default files method. Call the context menu of your project and select the Manage NuGet package. Choose the Browse tab and file SteamSoft Dashboard's Angular Net Core package. Choose version and click Install. Add the new controller to the project. After that, the home controller can be removed. First, create the reports folder and add dashboards template to it. Open the viewer controller file and define the init viewer action. Then define the get report action and define the viewer event action. After that, the service side is set. In this step, I will need to use the terminal. For example, I will use developer PowerShell and Visual Studio. Go to the project folder and run the ng new client app command. Go for the client app folder and run the npm install and npm install SteamSoft Viewer Angular commands. Next, open app component ts file and import necessary modules. Next, Open App Component HTML file and add SteamSoft Viewer to the page.
Pay attention to request URL. You can find it in your launch settings JSON file. Before running the project, we need to build the project. Enter the following command in the terminal. Next, run the project. Now you can use the Angular Viewer for dashboards in your project. If you found this video helpful, please share it with your colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.